The meeting started with deliberations on the report of the Minister of Finance on the status of the excess crude account, which revealed a balance of 2.6 billion US dollars. That done, the Council perused reports of forensic experts on the audit of revenue generating agencies, but could not announce the outcome as the process was set to be ongoing. Governor Udom, who explained government's 90 billion naira budget support facility to states, said the loan will attract 9% interest. Some of the issues discussed today are called on report on SS Crude Account Proceeds, which was given by the Honorable Minister of Finance, who reported the balance in the SS Crude Account as of June 15, that this stood at 2 billion. $261 million, $249,966. And round that up, that will give you $2.261 million. US dollars. That's the current balance in the SS Code account. Nigerians are wondering the impact of the federal government's series of bailouts to states since many of them are still owing workers. Some governors, however, insist government may have outstanding balance to the states after a careful harmonization of accounts. But let me explain, as the minister said here the other time, that there's a reconciliation going on. You know, it, it doesn't actually mean that states who will pick this, I mean, do not have something accrued also from the federal government. We are spending the time to reconcile our books. Net, net. We believe at the end of the day, next next, that the federal government may have some uh, balances to settle with the state government. But in the meantime, while we are waiting for those reconciliations to be concluded, on ways to provide conducive environment to make business thrive in the country, Minister of Trade and Investment said government will set up a committee to be headed by the president to remove bottlenecks in doing business in Nigeria. The government has said that there has been a renewed commitment to trying to make life easier for Nigerians and also to make it easier for business in our country. But if you don't have a tangible, credible program for doing it, you may remain more of talk than action. So the president decided to uh, inaugurate the presidential council which is going to do it himself. That would, uh, you know, basically take the responsibility for making sure that various ministries and ministers are well coordinated in terms of understanding what are the bottlenecks that businesses face at the federal level, you know, and to remove those bottlenecks. The Council also approved Wednesday's adoption of a flexible forex policy by the CBN, saying the policy will allow interplay to determine the forex market price.